Hey, what's going on everyone? Kevin here with Bullish Bears with another great tutorial video for you guys. In today's video, we are starting our book map series. So in this video, I'm going to be covering what we're looking at on the screen and how to get a general sense of how to trade with book map. So basically, book map is a visual representation of the level 2 in time and sales. What that is, is its volume being executed into the market, its passive orders sitting in the market, and aggressive orders hitting the market. So let's get into it and I'll show you guys exactly what we're looking at. So the first thing that really catches our eye when we open the book map is the heat map. Now the heat map is an extremely important tool, an extremely important part of book map. It shows us where there are passive buyers and sellers sitting, sort of holding us either as a sell wall if we are higher than where price is, or a buy wall if we are below price. So this is very important to be aware of if we are looking to scalp or day trade or if we're looking to confirm if there is a liquidity at a predetermined trade plan. So the next thing we do notice on our book map is we have our red and green lines. Our red level shows us the best ask and the green level shows us the best bid. Another thing we see that's just a little bit obvious is these funky looking bubbles over here. Now we have our red bubbles which signify sell orders and our green bubbles which will show us buy orders. So this is something that might seem like nothing but it's very important because the larger the bubble the stronger the volume. So if we were looking for a breakout of this area and price right here we would look for a really strong green bubble to form and we would look to start to remove some of this liquidity on the right hand side leaving it only on the left because of history. Now we're going to take a look at our right hand column. Now when you first load up book map it's going to look pretty basic. We're just going to have the COB and the SVP. That would be the current order book which is basically the orders we see on the heat map itself but in a different representation and the session volume profile. Now with the session volume profile what I would normally recommend to do is we're going to click up here we're going to right click and we're going to configure column. At this point we're going to come down to style options. We're going to split display. What that's going to do is it's going to put our sellers on the left hand side and our buyers on the right hand side. Now there are of course other things you could do. You could add VWAP line, you could add point of control on the chart, you could add the delta. There are so many things you could do with book map which we'll cover in another video. So now that we have our current order book and we understand what we're looking at and same with the session volume profile, what else can we do on the right hand side to really get a more accurate or more in depth feel for the market? What we could do is we could right click and we could insert column. Now it's going to give you probably another session volume profile. At this point we're going to right click and for myself I would like to set this to time and sales. Now it also has quotes delta, quotes counter, and trades counter. I'm going to be covering these in another video soon. So let's go to time and sales and now at this point we could also do our minimum size. Let's say we do two lots and we'll resume this as well so we could sort of see what we're looking at. So, uh, something I do want to mention on Bookmap's time and sales that's different from a lot of other brokers and platforms is it is separated from buy orders and sell orders. All of the green orders you see are orders that hit the bid which are buy orders and all of the orders you see red are orders that hit the ask which are sell orders. Now if you're trading on another platform, maybe something like Thinkorswim, the red and the green is not separated by buy and sell. So this is another great perk that Bookmap offers. The last thing we're going to be looking at is the CVD. That's on the bottom over here. We have the CVD on the right and we have this funky looking chart over here on the left. The CVD is very important. It shows the cumulative volume delta and it's based off of selling and buying pressure. So if there are more buy orders in the market and buyers have strength, we're going to look for a positive CVD. And if sellers have strength and we're trying to push lower, we're going to see a decreasing CVD as well. Now there's one more thing I want to show you just as an example of how bookmap works and what we can look when we take out big orders. I'm going to show you how we react to this big sell order, this big sell wall right up here. So the first thing we're going to see is we're going to come into it just a little bit. And as soon as we get into it, we're going to see some sellers step in, but we're going to start to erase this zone. So we see the CVD is rising. 
we see buyers are trying to step in and we see that we're slowly starting to take away the zone on the right hand side we're leaving it in the left because that is history but right now market is coming into this zone and we are liquidating or buyers are stepping into the selling positions and we are getting rid of this zone. So what we would look for at this point is we would look for a strong buying pressure, just like we see these bubbles. We want a really strong buy bubble to come in, sweep the rest of these orders, and to push higher for a potential scalp, or to see if it's going to be a trend play based off of our prior previous analysis. I'm going to fast forward it just a little bit. You see we're rejecting, but we still took a chunk of orders away. So let's see how we respond once we get back into it again. We retested it, pulling more orders. What that is telling me is we are squeezing against this level, telling me that buyers are trying really hard to push us through and sellers are failing to push us back lower. So again, I would sort of want to wait and see how we react to this level before taking a trade. And then one more time, boom, a big large buy order comes in. We hit that 15,440. We see it on the time in sales. And what do we get? We get continuation because we swept the sell wall. All right, guys, I hope this video helped. Hit that like and subscribe button. Take care and get ready for some more great book map material. Take care and happy trading.